and Lorentz transformation. These equations relating the position and and time observation made by the two observer in two frame of references. Let us consider two inertial frames. one is s and another is s dash observer at o at in the inertial frame s and another observer at o dash in the frame of reference s dash we will consider that this frame s dash is moving with uniform velocity v in this positive x direction these are the x, y and z coordinates and x dash y dash z dash in the s dash frame of reference and we will consider the observation point p the event will occur at point p and event is is a light signal further we will consider that uh, the event P is a light signal and is produced when both T and T dash are zero and when origins of two frames coincide that is O and O dash. and the event this p the event at p is determined by the coordinates x y z t and x dash y dash z dash t dash by the observers o and o dash respectively as the light is produced at the t is equal to 0 to the observer o dash in the system s dash at rest are correspond to x y z t therefore the equation of circle or the, you can say the equation of the spherical surface whose radius grows at the speed of c or that is the velocity of light is given by that we will write the equation of like the circular equation for the sphere that is the x square plus y square plus z square is equal to c square t square and we can rewrite it like this z square minus c square t square say this is not equation this is equation one similarly for the observer O dash in system or in frame of reference S dash having the coordinates X dash Y dash Z dash T dash and equation for the spherical surface 
equation for the spherical surface at point P observed by the observer O dash is written as x prime square y prime square z prime square is equal to c square t dash square or we can rewrite it x square plus y square plus z square c square t prime square is equal to zero this is equation number two and we know that this c is where c is velocity of light and we know that this is constant for all inertial frames as we know that this s dash frame is moving along the x direction so from the symmetry point of view we can write y is equal to y dash and z is equal to z dash and according to the Galilean transformation equation equation x dash is equal to x minus vt so Lorange consider that this relation is is written as is equal to lambda into x minus vt where lambda is is independent of x and t so let this relation is 3 so this relation is 3 and this let this relation is 4 and if we consider the case that this s dash is moving in the negative x direction then we can rewrite this expression as x is equal to lambda x dash plus vt dash so this is relation 5 now substituting the value of x dash in this relation we will get here x is equal to lambda into lambda into x minus vt plus vt dash now i can write as x is equal to lambda square x minus lambda square vt plus lambda vt dash we can rewrite this equation lambda vt dash is equal to lambda square uh, vt plus in this x is common 1 minus lambda square so by dividing this whole equation with
by lambda v you will get here t dash is equal to lambda t plus x by lambda v into 1 minus lambda squared or by rearranging we can write it like this by taking common lambda this comes out to be t plus in this we will take a x y v common and this comes out to be equal to 1 minus 1 by lambda square see this is equation number 6